looks like a mess, dude. Oh no. Hey guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. So recently, I uploaded a video where we went to Nordstrom and picked out the most expensive makeup products that we could find, and we found some pricey ones, okay? Then we went back to my studio and tested it all out to see if it was really worth that coin. In that video, I also asked you guys if next we should go to the drugstore and pick out the cheapest products that we can find, and you said yes, of course. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go to Target, okay, Target. They have a pretty big makeup department, so I'm gonna kind to try and see what the cheapest brands are. I'm thinking e.l.f. and Wet n Wild will be the absolute cheapest, but we're gonna try and get the cheapest product for each category of my full face makeup routine. And we'll come back to my studio and test it all out. Before we do that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell while you're at it to be notified when I drop a new video. Okay, scroll down, I'm waiting, click it. Click it. Quick outfit shot. I got my Canadian tuxedo on, okay? Jean, everything. A little crop top moment underneath. <laughs> she's vintage, cause you know I'm unique. Got my little to-go mic here, okay? This is new and she's been doing me well, I think for public videos too. This is gonna be the main mic that I use. Hopefully we don't cause too much attention with my camera here. I'm so cringe at filming videos in public. Like, I hate it when people stare at me, but it's fine. We'll figure it out. Let's go. You can't come to Target, Prince. Sorry, you stay here. Love you. We'll be back soon. The sheet makes up. Bye. Oh my god, this is so sad. We made it. Target. We're here for your cheap makeup. Definitely need one of these. Rimmel London. We've got a concealer for $5.59. It's medium coverage. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got e.l.f. We know we got some good prices with e.l.f. Oh, but this Rimmel London concealer is cheaper than the e.l.f. concealer. So I think we're gonna go with this one. Rimmel London it is. $4 blush and highlighter. Yes. $2 brow pencil from e.l.f. We're definitely not gonna do better than that. So we have to go with the e.l.f. brow pencil. We got new eyeshadow palettes from NYX and they're only $6.99. So the fact that it's new and I think I want to try this out. Believe it or not, I have not tried the Wet n Wild liquid liner yet, so I'm definitely holding on to this. So I found a bronzer from Black Radiance. I have not tried this brand before. There's only one left and it's $5.39, which looks like the cheapest so far. A $4.99 lip gloss? Say less. So we have two new palettes from NYX and e.l.f. And I'm having a hard time choosing because although the e.l.f. one is the cheapest, it's only $3 for this little bite size eyeshadow palette. You only get four shades in there. So for paying $4 more, you get two extra shadows in NYX. Maths. Do we want the two extra shadows for a little extra money? Or are we doing the absolute cheapest? We're doing the absolute cheapest. I found a face powder palette. It has a blush, a highlight, and a bronzer in there. We already picked out two individual products for bronzer and blush, but you're basically getting three products for a cheaper price than if you were to get them all individually. So I think the better bang for your buck would be to go with a compact. Cover girl, we're trying this one out. Okay, I think we're good after heavy deliberation and thought. I think we have the best bang for a buck for basically a full face. Let's see how much this comes to and then go home and try it out. 11 items, basically everything for a full face for $58.80. Pretty good. So we are back. I got a bunch of goodies for less than $60. Now compare that to what we spent at Nordstrom for the most expensive makeup products. You guys, I spent $1,000 at Nordstrom. So and it wasn't even for a full face. I mean, most of the products were fire, but it was so expensive. Let's get into it. So for makeup primers, the cheapest brands were definitely e.l.f. and Wet n Wild, but I decided to not go with either of those because I got a Cetaphil moisturizing lotion, the travel size instead, which was even cheaper. It was only $3.19. Honestly, before applying makeup, the most important thing is just prepping your skin and making sure you're moisturized. So I feel like this is a really good kind of substitute if you're trying to save some coin and still have your skin nice and prepped. You could even just use your regular moisturizer, whatever you have at home. A good skincare routine is everything underneath makeup. Some of the best makeup artists in the world don't use primer. And the travel size section is your best friend if you're trying to save money. So let's apply this and just dab that into my skin. And Cetaphil is great because it has really minimal ingredients. And this moisturizer is great for all skin types. So if you're dry, oily, combination, good for everybody. It absorbs immediately into your skin. So you're not left feeling greasy, but you're just left looking glowy and your skin feels smooth and it doesn't have a strong scent to it at all. So I think it works great as a primer, especially if you're trying to save that. 
Moolah. Next, for foundation, by far the cheapest foundation I found was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. They have a new dewy formula. So I have tried the original, but I haven't had a chance, I don't think, to try the dewy one yet. This was only $4.99, like for foundation. That is so hard to find. So we're obviously hoping and praying it's good. The little spatula applicator is not my favorite for foundation. Like I do prefer a pump, but when you're paying $4.99, like I'm not complaining about the packaging. So it's supposed to be lightweight, super nourishing, leaving you with a nice natural dewy finish. I feel like 2020 we're seeing makeup that's all about the base. Well, I'm all about the base. All about skincare, kind of just looking like you didn't really put much on. It's supposed to be medium to full coverage, I guess, depending on how much you build it. It does have a pretty strong kind of fragrance to it, but it's not that bad. If you're sensitive to scents, I would be cautious. Wow, that's looking so skin-like. It's beautiful so far. $4.99? What? Says it has blurring properties in it to help blur your pores and fine lines, which we need, honey. Let's be real, who doesn't need that? All I ask for in a foundation is to make my skin look perfect. That's all we want. Blur them fine lines. Ooh, that is looking so good. It says it's ideal for normal to dry skin types. I am oily in my T-zone, so that kind of concerns me. Like, will I look super oily after wearing this for a couple hours? I don't know. I think we'll be able to tell by the end of the video. So this is one full layer. I'm loving the way it's made my skin look. Even just with one layer, it's covered up most of my imperfections. Let's try and do a second layer just on my problem areas to see how full coverage we can get it, but I'm really impressed with this one layer so far. My skin looks hella glowy. So let's do a second layer, see how much coverage we get. Oh yeah, so you can definitely get full coverage. So first impression, I am really loving it. I think my skin looks so natural and it definitely did a good job of even covering up my problem areas. The real test would be to see how long it wears, but it does have really good reviews and people seem to love this foundation. And on first impression, I am too. So for $4.99, I mean, so far it's a hit. Let's move on to concealer. So for concealer, we grabbed Rimmel London's lasting finish 25 hour concealer like that wear time i don't know who's testing it out for 25 hours but it's supposed to be long wearing it's supposed to be lightweight medium coverage which i like the sound of so the product comes out of this little sponge kind of reminds me of maybelline's instant rewind concealer which is another really good drugstore concealer down the bridge of my nose it smells really weird it smells like a wet towel a little bit to me like that could just be me being crazy but it kind of smells gross but that's okay if it applies well that's not really an issue for me but the smell is weird just so you know it's Blend it out with our Taunty Blendiful. Oh. Okay, blending out nice and easy. It definitely has a nice natural finish to it. It doesn't look matte, which will go nice with our luminous base. It's blending in really nicely into that foundation. Definitely giving me like a full coverage. It says medium, but this is covering a lot here. I'm liking it. It's also brightening. I got the shade Fair, so it's a little lighter than my foundation to help brighten. So I'm liking the coverage. I'm liking the finish, but I am noticing I literally just applied it and I'm kind of seeing creasing already. So we're keeping our eye on that. Definitely don't like creasing on my under eye, which leads me into my next product, a setting powder. So for loose setting powder, I did search around for what was out there, the cheapest ones. And honestly, I still had to go with the Maybelline Fit Me. It was still one of the cheapest setting powders that I found, but I didn't have to rebuy it. You guys know I love and use this one very frequently. It's one of my holy grail setting powders, like high end and drug stores. So the fact that it's so cheap, we love that. So it's not new to me, but we know and love her. So we're gonna go in and set the concealer. I use it in the shade Fair Light. So because it's not translucent, it does add a little bit of extra color for coverage, which I do really like, a little extra brightening under there, and it sets really, really well. It's great for baking, but knowing that it's not translucent, you do have to kind of get the color that matches, but it's bomb, I love it. So hopefully this stops that concealer from creasing. Bring us back to that concealer, I didn't get an eyeshadow primer, so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply some of this concealer on my lid for some coverage there, get rid of my veins, and prep us for eyeshadow. Next up, let's do brows. I'll put my hand and dandy headband in so you can see See, and so I look cute. <laughs> So we grabbed the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil because it was $2, okay? That was the cheapest brow pencil that I could find for sure. And this brow pencil is no stranger to me. I have used it before. It has a spoolie brush on the end and everything. It's a really creamy pencil. I kind of wish I could sharpen it because once you kind of use it a few times, it does get kind of dull. It makes it harder to create kind of hair-like strokes. So that's my only complaint because other than that, it's a really good brow pencil for the price. You can definitely fill in and shape your brows. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in any bald spots here. Now let's use the spoolie brush to kind of blend the product in a little bit. Definitely awesome that they have the spoolie on the other end. I feel like with a brow pencil, like that is a necessity because they just go hand in hand. You need to blend the product down, so. Both brows are done. I do really think this is worth $2. It doesn't have a super fine micro tip to it, so it won't give you hair-like strokes, but if you just want a brow pencil for filling in and getting that fullness to your brow, then this is a great $2 option, 100%. 
Oh, Perrin! Princey wants to sit next to Mama during the video. Good boy! He's such a mama's boy, like he loves to just sit on my bench right next to me while I'm filming, and it's the sweetest thing ever. He's available for kisses every two seconds between shots. I love you. What do you think of the makeup, Prince? I like it. <laughs> So lame, I can't. Next. So next up, we have the CoverGirl True Blend Serving Sculpt Palette. This one was $11, but keep in mind, you have three different products in here, bronzer, highlighter, and blush. Basically all of those face powders to give you a color and define your face. For a three-in-one, this ended up being the most bang for your buck type of deal. So we'll first go in with the bronzing shade. This bronzing shade would definitely only work for medium to light skin tones. Not sure if they have another version of this suitable for deeper skin tones. So let's apply in the hollows of our cheeks. Ooh, applying really subtly, allowing me to build it, which I really like. And this shade definitely suits my skin tone. It's not too orange, but also not too gray, which I really like in a bronzer. It's definitely matte, so there's no kind of shimmer to it. Mm-hmm, I'm liking that. I was worried there's gonna be like no pigment to it. It was gonna apply chalky, but that is not the case. It looks really good so far. We'll take some of that and do a really light nose contour as well. Okay, bronzed and looking good. Let's go in with the blush shade right here. It's like a really pretty pink kind of coral shade. That one does have some shimmer in it, it looks like in the pan. So we'll apply that on the apples of my cheeks. Oh, we're seeing instant color right there. That's really, really pretty. I do like my blushes to have a little bit of shimmer in them. I feel like it draws the light to the apples of your cheeks and it just makes them look youthful and glowy. A little on the tip of my nose. So far, this palette's looking good. Let's go in with the highlight now. Looks like a pretty rose gold shimmer in the pan. Let's see if it applies like that, giving us a nice subtle glow at first, but I'm building it because you know I like my highlight extra. Oh, that's really pretty. Definitely reflects kind of rose gold, which I really like. It's very finely milled formula, so you're not getting like a chunky glittery highlight. You're just getting kind of like that wet look. I feel like that's the more natural kind of highlight powders. I do really like it. I'm gonna apply a bit of that down the bridge of my nose as well. Wow, she's highlighted. All right, so we're done with this palette, bronzer, highlight, and blush, and I loved all three. I think all three worked for my skin tone. I really like the formula, how it's subtle yet buildable. Didn't apply chalky at all. We got some good color payoff there. I love the color of the blush. And I was really digging the formula for all three of those. I think it looks really good for $11 and you're getting a whole three-in-one situation. I definitely was not disappointed in this one. Uh -uh -uh. Also it has a little diagram on the back here that shows you where to apply each of the products. You see the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight. So that's really cool for beginners. You know, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't watch too many Sylvia Ghani videos, don't worry, it's on the back. Go watch my videos though. So moving on to eyes, I have the new e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Compact. It has four shadows in there and the swatches look amazing. They swatched really well, which I was surprised about, but they have seven different little palettes that you can choose from with all different color schemes and all of them for $3 each. So the price really could not be beat when it came to eyeshadows. So we'll start with the lightest matte shade right here and we'll dust that all along the inner corner, kind of blowing it up but towards my brow bone. Now this shade is so similar to my skin tone that I feel like we're not gonna be able to see much, but but you know, why not? It'll give us a nice base. Definitely got some fallout to it. I got a visit from my bang. How's it look so far? It's fire. Would you believe I got a full face for less than $60? I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna try and mix the darkest matte shade with the lighter one here to try and get more of like a neutral matte brown. And we'll kind of dust that on the outer corner into my crease. Okay, that's giving us kind of like a cool toned brown grayish situation. I'm having to build it quite a bit. It is going on a little bit chalky. I'm kind of wishing that this shade was like a warm brown crease color because it just is not showing up on my eyelid and it's not really that great to mix in with a darker shade. I'm hoping the shimmers will save the eye look here. I'm giving up on these matte shades. Let's go in with the bronzy shimmer shade right here. Dust that all over the center of our lid. So the shimmer is definitely a lot easier to apply. Very, very pretty. Now let's go in with the champagne kind of lightest shimmer shade right here and dust that in the inner corner of our lid. Dust away the fallout. Take some of our concealer to clean up the edges. And let's just run that dark chocolate brown shade along my lower lash line. So that's all I'm gonna do for the eye look. I did have a lot of issues with the matte shades. They're just 
chalky. They don't blend out very well. And even the shimmer shades are very pretty, but they applied very soft. So I think if you're down to grab this for $3 to do a very soft, like barely there eye look, then maybe. But I also think that there's a lot of other eyeshadow palettes at the drugstore that have better eyeshadow quality than this little $3 palette right here. So unfortunately, this one's just not doing it for me. We've had better luck with the other products. This one, I would say I wouldn't even spend that $3 on it. I don't like it. Next, we have a Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner to try. It did say this was new, not sure how new, but I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and just run it along my lash line. Oh, it's very jet black. It has a really fine brush tip, making it really easy to get close to my lash line. Let's create a tiny little wing here. Ooh. So I'm really liking this liner pen. It was easy to apply. The brush tip really just glided on so I wasn't getting a jaggedy line. The product was flowing out of there. It's supposed to be a long wearing, up to 16 hour wear, smudge proof, waterproof, all of that. So if that is true on first impression, I am really liking it. And this was only $4.99. So good on you, Wet n Wild. So far, so good. For mascara, we have Rimmel London's new Scandal Eyes Volume On Demand Mascara. It is $5.99. I like that it kind of has a tapered end. It's making it easy to get on the inner corner of my lashes. Let's see how it applies on our lower lashes. Okay, so the big bristles make it a little bit hard to do your lower lashes. I did get some smudging, but we'll clean that up. It still gave me volume, but also separated my lashes so they don't look clumpy. It's supposed to be smudge-free, clump-free, and it doesn't say how long it's supposed to last, so I'm not too sure, but hopefully it doesn't give you any smudging. On a first impression, it's like, oh, meh. Did it blow me away? Not really, but it is a first impression, and with mascara, it's nice to know how it wears long-term because you want to know if it's going to be flaking by the end of the day or smudged all up in your concealer. I can't really tell you that right now because it's the first time I'm trying it, but let me know if you guys have tried this one. How did it wear for you long-term? Because that's a huge factor. Next. For lashes, I have Ardell's Wispy Lashes. These are one of my favorite drugstore lashes and they actually are one of the cheapest. Obviously, lashes are optional if you do want to save some coin, but if you want to add a little extra oomph to your look, it's only going to cost you $3.79. So I thought, why not? Let's get me some Wispies today. I'm going to apply these off camera just to save time. I'll be right back. So we're almost done. Last up is lips and I have the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Whipped Caviar. And this was only $3.99, which is pretty great for a lip pencil. Oh yeah, that did the job. NYX has great lip pencils, especially for $3.99. The matte suede is a no-brainer. I grabbed the Perfect Tone Matte Lip Cream from the brand Black Radiance. I definitely thought this was a lip gloss, so that's my bad. I thought it would go a little bit better with the lip liner I grabbed, but that's okay. It's a matte finish, definitely reminding me of NYX's lip suede formula. I kind of wish I had more of a brownish lip liner with it, but that's okay. Not bad, not bad. Kind of has like a tacky feeling, but I think it's still drying. I'm noticing it is already kind of clumping up on my inner part of my lip here, and I'm not loving that. I swear I'm just a gloss girl now. Like, I don't like the way matte liquid lipsticks feel on my lips anymore. It's just not comfy. Yeah, so the formula of that's probably not my favorite. I have butthole lips already and I just applied it. Come on now. But there we have it, a full face of the cheapest makeup that I could find at Target. And you guys, this actually went so well. Like I'm really playing myself sometimes by buying so many expensive high-end products when the drugstore has so many great options at such a more reasonable price. Like this was not even getting the best drugstore makeup. This was just going for the absolute cheapest and we were still able to really make it work and create a pretty cute look if I say so myself. Some of my absolute favorites that most surprised me it was definitely the new dewy photo finish foundation from wet and wild my skin just looks so good and glowy but not greasy i've been filming for a couple hours now and it hasn't greased at all or settled into fine lines and i feel like my oils are still pretty controlled like it still just looks very fresh and i'm loving how that foundation is looking like for 4.99 definitely a huge fan of it i also really like the covergirl palette that had the little trio in there i think all of the shades really worked for my skin the blush is absolutely Absolutely stunning. I was not a fan of the e.l.f. $3 eyeshadow palette. The matte shades were just too chalky for me. Even though I was still able to kind of create a look in the end, they definitely were not my fave formula shadows. Definitely not. Brow pencil bomb for only $2. Could not believe it. All time holy grails, these wispy lashes from Ardell and also the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Forever will continue buying those. And just so happens that they're really cheap too. So that's a bonus. Also really big fan of the Wet n Wild liquid liner. It looks great. It was easy to apply and it was a great deal. And then that liquid lipstick is a little too drying, so it's not 
my absolute favorite liquid lipstick drugstore formula, but the shade is really pretty. I just don't like how drying it is. But let me know if you guys want me to do a video showing you guys my absolute drugstore holy grails and not just the cheapest products, because we could definitely do that. There's a lot of new stuff out there too, so if there's any new drugstore makeup that you want me to try, leave them down below, and I'll be sure to include them in a future video for you guys. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click right here to subscribe to my channel. Don't miss out on another video of mine. You don't want to. Click the button and check out the S Club apparel. We have a ton of cute stuff that you could be rocking and check out these other videos of mine if you haven't seen them yet. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.